I mean, look at that. I'm not supposed. I'm, well, I'm supposed to talk, but don't need to talk. You can see the most beautiful view of Jerusalem from almost the center of the city. I will explain everything about it. But first, enjoy it. We are now standing at the new museum on the Franciscans. They are still building it, but it's such an amazing view with the coffee. Um, it cost five shekels and there's an elevator can bring you to the roof. Uh, it's, what can I say? Breathtaking. Yeah, that's, that's the word. I will try to bring all my visitors to here because this is the best place to start the tour of Jerusalem. Then, first of all, I just bought myself cappuccino and I'm really enjoying the excellent uh, weather. And um, mm, nice coffee. And let's start to talk about it. What you're looking at is Jaffa Gate. Between Jaffa Gate, you can see King David Hotel. And this is kind of West Jerusalem, outside the walls. You can see the skyscrapers. And that area, that, sorry about the sun it's in your eyes, it's actually the Armenian quarter. There are four neighborhoods in Jerusalem. The Armenian is one of them. We are standing at the Christian quarter, which you actually can look around. And we will reach the Church of the Holy Sepulchre soon. And the Muslim quarter, which is the biggest uh, neighborhood here. And from the Jewish quarter, you cannot see, cannot see a lot, but you can see the um, Horva Synagogue, and if we'll go there, wait a minute, you can see the Dome of Tif Eret Israel Synagogue that have been renovated now. It's been those two been destroyed by the Jordanians in 1948 when they occupied the old city. The old city was supposed to be owned by United Nations, not by Israel, and not by Palestine. Let's start to talk about what we can see here. Jaffa Gate and the fortress in front of you uh, is a very important place because that's the entrance to so many uh, pilgrims who came from Jaffa. Jaffa, Tel Aviv of today. The fortress was built a little bit before King Herod, but King Herod turned it into a very important site, mainly because here you could see everything about the city and as you can see we can see everything about the city together but next to it he built himself his palace and what you see now is the um, police station from the time of the Ottomans and then the British and now the Israeli Jordanians and now the Israeli then that actually was built on top of the um, palace of King Herod in between right there I'm sure that you've watched my videos and if not please do that and subscribe my channel uh, you can see part of the pool that he built himself I'm talking about King Herod for many of the Christians uh, evangelist uh, protestant the Antonia in a way the, the, the judgment place of Jesus could be here now they are talking about it. Uh, for the Catholic and the Orthodox, it's a different place. Behind the Armenian quarter, you can see a pyramid top church. It's Mount Zion. And what you're looking at is the house of Mary and the place that she fell asleep. But at Mount Zion, you can find the tomb of King David, the tomb of Oscar Schindler from Schindler List, and the most important thing, the Sanaclo, the Room of the Last Supper, the Pentecost area. The Jewish quarter, as we already 
been told, as I've told you, it's um, actually it's now it's new because it's been destroyed by the Jordanians. But um, in 2010 they built the Hova Synagogue, and now they are building the other important synagogue, Tif Eret Israel. And when they will finish building it, the view from there will be something special. Oh, sorry. And I promise to take a video of it. Behind it, difficult to see now, it's the Judean Desert, the Dead Sea. And I promise to come to here after a good rainy day. And I'm sure that you will be uh, able to see the Moab Mountains, which is now um, Jordan. Um, beautiful. From here to Jordan, it's like, let's say, 30, 30 minutes uh, by car. Then, let me take my cappuccino. You can see a thing there. Espresso latte. I thought that the logo of that. The museum will be here. Remember, it's we are next to Jaffa Gate. And let's move to there. Oops, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There it is. Let me drink a little bit. Gosh, it's so tasty. Then, what we can see from here. Mount of Olives. Mount of Olives is um, a place of resurrection for the Muslims, for the Christians, and from, uh, for the Jews. Let's start with the Jews because they were here before. The Messiah will enter by riding a donkey into here and that's going to be the resurrection time what you can see a little bit of it is the Jewish cemetery from the time of King David until now and there will be the first one who will resurrect now it sounds like the Christian story Jesus enter as a Messiah riding um, on a donkey then in that case he entered from Mount of Olives, um, Garden of Gethsemane, it's there, the place that he thought the disciples is there. And look at that small tower next to the big one, to the right of the big one. This is Paternoster Church or Aloana Church, one of the first churches in the world. When uh, the mother of Constantine, St. Helen, Helena, came to here, she built a church of the Holy Sepulchre. Wait a minute. Okay. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Sorry, sorry. But she built Aloana Church, which now we know it as Pater Nuster Church. I have, I have so many videos of it in my uh, YouTube channel. Oops, sorry again. I'm trying to behave. To the left of it, you can see the Ascension Church. Now, it's not really the site of the Ascension. It's the, um, uh, it's the um, next to it, it's difficult to see from here, there's a mosque and uh, the Church of the Ascension was occupied by the Muslims in the 12th century then. Now the Ascension spot, it's a Muslim place, although Christians can actually uh, visit it. And um, uh, the tower, it's a Russian uh, tower that was built next to the Ascension, to the left. Wait a minute, where is Augusta Victoria? Here it is. A Lutheran church. Today it's in hospital. And behind the Redermer church, it's Mount Scapus, which is for me part of Mount of Olives, and the Hebrew University is on top of it. The um, church the Dome of the Rock is the site of the Jewish temple and King Herod built it there. That's called the Temple Mount, which is a beautiful artificial uh, plaza. Today, on top of the foundation stone, the first rock ever, and the Holy of the Holy for the Jews, it's a site that memorizes a story of Muhammad who came to here um, from Al Aqsa, I mean from Mecca, but he went to Al Aqsa. You can see the dome of Al Aqsa there. From there to the foundation stone, and he ascended into heaven to meet God Himself. Who 
gave him the five prayers of a day. Then, although it's the third important place for the Muslims, it's still an important site, and for the Jews, it's the only important place. The Redeemer Church is a beautiful church that was built on top of a um, Templar uh, church from the 12th century, and um, the head of uh, John the Baptist is buried in beneath that dome of John the Baptist Greek Orthodox Church and the most important church here it's um Church of the Holy Sepulcher that is the place that Jesus was crucified died buried and resurrected Then, um, Church of the Holy Sepulcher is the place that Jesus was crucified, buried, resur and resurrected. It's called the Resurrection Church for some of the Orthodox churches. A beautiful place. I have like million, uh, million videos uh, of it. But if you want to see the Via della Rosa outside the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, the way that Jesus walked with his cross, then you're going something like that. Remember, see the Redeemer Church? Yeah, skip it. Behind it, there's um, to the right of it, there's a, a great um, black tomb, but that's less important for us now. It's part, it's on top of the apsis of the Lutheran church. But look at the minaret there and the school. That is um, the Antonia, the first and second station of the cross, according to the uh, to the Catholic and the Orthodox I must say. Um, the small dome there, it's the Greek Orthodox Patria, which is so close to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. I'd say that it's got a lot of, um, uh, it's actually controlling in a way the church. And that area is the Franciscan, Franciscan, and um, the uh, Latin Patriarch, which is higher, but f not as close as the Greek Orthodox Patriarch. It's beautiful, isn't it? Next time I will be here for like hours and talk about it, but 40 minutes, it's I think more than enough. And there's so many things to explain about it. Then are you gonna be my uh, next group here? A lot. Lovely, 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 lovely. They open it now to the public and I promise to be here a lot. Let me show you the 
Jaffa Gate. Right there. Should I, should I jump into the roof of the Sweden um, hostel? Let me show you um, Jaffa from here. It's beautiful, isn't it? The view from there, it's um, nicer and we are heading there, but it costs twice than here. That is 10 shekel of David Citadel and this is five shekels and excellent coffee. <laughs> what can I tell you? tell you? I'm a coffeeholic. Then thank you for being with me. Please subscribe my channel to my channel and watch my videos. See you in my next video. Bye bye.